But the conflict is built on how you look at the world, and this is why it was impossible for Esau to truly have received the brachot and implemented them the way Yitzchak thought they should be done. <coughs> Esau, first of all, instant gratification. Esau, what's in it for me? Esau viewed himself as the center, and I want to know what's in it for me. If we want to highlight the contrast in Hashkafa, all we need to do is read a few lines, a few selections from the ideology, from the treaties, from the philosophy of Epicurus. A Greek philosopher, the foundation probably of much of what today is Western philosophy, Western culture, whether we realize it or not. So one of the things is the opening of the scientific method Nothing should be believed, says Epicurus. Nothing should be believed except that which was tested through direct observation and logical deduction. In the early days of computers, today probably, you know, the, you're young and you don't remember the early days of computers, you may not even know what WYSIWYG is. WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Everything is on the surface. There's nothing of reality that is not observable. If you understand the depth of that approach, you've basically eliminated a spiritual <coughs> transcendent world because it's not observable. What you see is what you get. Everything is measurable with our senses. If I can't measure it, if I can't understand it with my rational faculties, it's not true or it doesn't exist. That's one foundation of Esau. What that really means is that the only thing that's important is what's on the surface, and we'll see in a minute how this translates into our attitude to Torah. Then there's another aspect. All good and bad derive from the sensations of pleasure and pain. What is good is what is pleasurable. What is bad is what is painful. If pain is chosen over pleasure in some cases, it's only because it will ultimately lead to greater pleasure. Moral reasoning is a matter of calculating the benefits and costs in terms of pleasure and pain. If you look deeply into Western culture, certainly atheistic culture, that's what you have. And it's all centered on me. It's all centered on my senses. That is the foundation of Esau. And that is what we stand in direct opposition to on every level. Man is here to serve God. The, as the Mesilat Yisharim writes, any pleasure that is true is in the next world. And that is exactly in contrast to this idea of instant gratification because Judaism is built. The religion is built. Our perspective of the world is built on delayed gratification. There is this world which leads to the next world. Hayom la asotam. We do mitzvot today. Umachar lekabel scharam, reward is tomorrow. Tomorrow's in the next world. There's no immediate payoff. We live, and we operate with a perspective of delayed gratification, instant gratification. We want it now, whatever the it is. That's an Esav perspective, not a Yaakov, not a Jewish perspective. 